G'day everybody, it's me again. Pretty frustrated. As you know, car's blowing up, so I'm pretty stuck at home. I suppose we'll ride the little bike, but it's just not the same. And uh, I'm pulling apart this hoist, and uh, I'm a bit devastated. What's happened here is entirely my fault. Um, it could have been avoided. Uh, hydraulic tank down there got full of water. And uh, as you know, water sinks to the bottom of... Uh, uh, hydraulic systems because the oil wants to, is, isn't as dense, it wants to float on top. Um, so this unit was supposed to be waterproof but water's actually been coming down through. This motor's sealed but it's not completely sealed. I think a little bit can get through because it's all full of corrosion under here. So what happened was, was that motor leaked through. You can see where the water dripped through. Got in through here and then dripped through into here. And then after it dripped through into here, it dripped down through into the tank, causing the pickup for the pump, that one there, to pick up only uh, water at one stage. Um, I did notice that the pump was making a funny noise, but I, I just assumed it was because it was a bit, you know, you should never assume because it makes an ass out of you and me, but I assumed that it was because the tracks were quite dry. Now they're a bit, now the dry lube isn't really dry lubing anymore, it's kind of dry rust at the moment. Um, but yeah, the ram itself has been running on nothing but water. It's literally not even oil, it's 100% it's water. Don't know if you can see that there. It's 100% water guys. Big fuck up, big fuck up. Um, I do have an idea for a solution to get the car off the hoist and the way this setup works is basically you only need hydraulic power to go up and then obviously gravity pulls you back down. So what my idea here is, I don't think I can get any of the water out the ram easily, that's going to be a problem, but the idea I have is I will hook up a 12 or 24 volt hydraulic tail lift power pack to this fitting here. I'll get the fitting out of the valve block there and I will see if I can get a hose made up to go to a power pack and the way the tail lift power packs work is, is you have uh, a, a button to go up which is engage the motor with the bypass valve shut and then you've got another button for down which is basically open the bypass valve let the oil come back from the ram all the way back through the valve block back into the tank I'm really hoping that'll work because then at least I can get the charade off and then at least I've got a fucking vehicle with you know doors and windows to ride, drive in shitty weather like what's about to come and yeah the bo little bike is a lot of fun don't get me wrong but it's not fun when it's raining at all you can see i got some freaking evil clouds coming yeah I'm using the elevated working platform since I'm working at heights here should technically have a ticket to do this shouldn't I fuckers anyway I thought I'd have a little gripe and a whinge about that to you lot and somebody asked, they wanted to see what the problem was when it did have, you know, eventually get around to pulling it down. And, well, we found the problem alright. And uh, this is going to get real expensive real quick, I'll give you the hint. Especially if I have to replace that valve block and pump as a unit. Like, maybe they won't sell me individual parts. Maybe I have to buy a whole hydraulic power unit, which would be motor, coupling, you know, valve block, pump, tank, everything. I'm just going to have to see how it goes, i have to give Molnar a call, uh, call and see what happens. On a positive note, buddy uh, had to go out and buy myself a set of nice Allen keys. And believe it or not, the Bondus was cheaper than fucking Chinese. Couldn't believe it. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you found that motor. Thanks for watching.